And one of the most uh, important things that we can do to support our gut health is to uh, consistently get adequate fiber in our diets and also to diversify fiber intake. So get a wide variety of fibers. Um, and to take a step back uh, for anyone that doesn't know what fiber is, fiber is basically the indigestible part of plant foods. Um, so these fibers are resistant to digestion. And good bacteria in the gut, so good, healthy, beneficial bacteria, feed off of or consume the fibers that we eat. Um, and they use this fiber to, uh, to um, produce really important byproducts. So things like lactic acid that are absolutely necessary for um, digestion, as well as short chain fatty acids, um, which are needed to provide uh, energy to the cells of the colon and to support the integrity of the gut lining. So when we eat fiber, we're fueling the good bacteria in the gut and producing all of these super healthy, beneficial byproducts that are needed to maintain um, the health of the gut. So you may, may or may not know this. I think this is something that um, luckily has gotten a lot of uh, attention in, in recent years. But, you know, the majority of, of U.S. adults do not eat enough fiber. And, and our, uh, the USDA recommendations or guidelines for fiber intake are pretty low, honestly, in my opinion. Um, and, and most of us are not even, even achieving that consistently. Um, and when we're not getting enough fiber on a chronic basis, you know, again, no one's perfect here. There's, there's going to be, you know, one-off days or situations, but over time, when we're, if we're not getting enough fiber and we're not feeding that really healthy, good, beneficial, beneficial bacteria in the gut, um, this can result in significant gut imbalances that lead to digestive symptoms um, and, and more significant health issues over time. So when bad bacteria don't have enough fuel, this uh, creates opportunity for, or sorry, when good bacteria don't have enough um, fuel from fiber, this creates opportunity for bad bacteria to take over. Um, and this bad bacteria can produce harmful compounds or inflammatory compounds that degrade the lining of the gut or are harmful um, to that protective barrier. And um, this can lead to, so a compromised gut lining and impaired immune function. So really, really important that we're getting enough good bacteria to sort of protect, um, you know, microbial diversity and the good bacteria. So all that to say, good bacteria thrive on uh, fiber. So we need to get adequate fiber and eating a variety of fiber is another way to just ensure that, you know, gut bugs have what they need to do their jobs.